Okay, so this is a video that I really did not expect to ever make, ever. But those are always the most interesting ones, right? And I know that it's futile, but I really ask that for those of you who are going to comment something angry or tweet about this or write about this on your websites that you please just watch the video in its entirety with an open mind because I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of assumptions made about what I'm going to say in this video rather than what I'm actually going to say. And I just want things to be accurate and told properly. If you keep up with my channel and with the community that I'm a part of here on YouTube and the internet, you recognize the name and face, Riley Dennis. Now, Riley is someone who I have a lot of vehement disagreements with, someone who ideologically I have probably close to nothing in common with. So among all the things that I've taken issue with when it comes to Riley, um, Islam, the date me or you're discriminating against me thing, uh, misgendering is an act of violence, all of that stuff. One of the biggest things that I took issue with was that I assumed that Riley was taking on a transgender identity and label for political purposes, uh, transgender. Now, I had a lot of reasons to believe this. The first being statements from Riley about growing up and never questioning their gender. As a trans person myself, that's very weird to hear um, because growing up, my earliest memories in life were that of questioning my gender and of questioning the gender role that I was expected to fill. So as a trans person, I couldn't get in the headspace of what? How did you never question it? Another example is Riley's statements that trans people don't always want to transition. And again, as a trans person who's known many trans people, I couldn't wrap my head around that because for me, transition was incredibly paramount. It was the key to me living the fulfilled life that I live now. I was also under the assumption, as hundreds of thousands of other people were, that Riley had no desire to transition and that Riley was not transitioning, that Riley was just taking on the label of trans with no real action behind it. However, Riley recently made a video that completely shifted my opinion in that regard. In this video, Riley reveals that she's been on hormones for an entire year and is actually going in for her first transition-specific surgery extremely soon. The day this video is going live, I'm going to be on my way to San Francisco in preparation for my facial feminization surgery, or FFS for short. But the fact is, I am on hormone replacement therapy prescribed to me by my doctor for the treatment of gender dysphoria. I've been on hormones for about 10 or 11 months now, and this entire time I've been very careful not to talk about hormones online. Needless to say, this completely came out of left field for me. And for me to say anything other than I feel bad would be disingenuous. My opinion of Riley has changed as a result of this new information. Not of Riley's opinions, not of Riley's views, not of Riley's politics, but of Riley being trans or not. Riley as a human being, all the other stuff aside. Point blank, my perception that Riley was lying about being trans or pretending to be trans was just incorrect. And for me to not come on here and correct that after the amount of response videos I've made where I assert just that, one of them being just less than two weeks ago, would be wrong. Riley's video really got me thinking and I feel bad. Not for criticizing Riley on Islam, not for criticizing Riley on Trump, not Riley's politics, any of that. I don't regret any of that. But the incessant push to prove that Riley was not trans, I'm just realizing was probably really hurtful. And I'm aware that there's no way I would have known before the video where Riley actually discloses this information, but I feel like I was still in the wrong for trying to assume what was in someone's heart and mind when there was just simply no way I could have known. With or without Riley disclosing that information, there was no way I ever could have truly known. And as a YouTuber myself, I should have just known better. People do the same thing to me. People make insane assumptions about me. People assume things that I feel and lie about me constantly. So for me to do that to someone else, I feel bad. And I've just genuinely felt this shift in me, you guys, knowing that this entire time that I've been being honestly cruel about Riley being trans or not being trans, uh, this entire time Riley was going through that same journey that I have been going through. You know, transition is very rigorous, transition is very intense, transition is hard, and uh, I can only imagine what it would feel like to have a trans YouTuber making videos and saying some of the things that I said. And again, I don't regret criticizing the beliefs and the opinions, but attacking who Riley was as a person, I shouldn't have done that. And what I'm going to say next is probably going to shock you guys because it shocked me. And this is the part that really 
put things into perspective for me. I've only been on hormones a year longer than Riley. Riley's getting her first transition-specific surgery this month. So am I. We are basically at the same point in our transition, yet the internet and myself have participated in this like false juxtaposition between me and Riley that I was a real trans person. Riley was a fake trans person. And the truth is, we're almost at the exact same point in our transition. And I'm someone who's had my transition picked apart online. There have been Reddit threads and 4chan threads with hundreds of comments on it of people trying to prove that I'm not trans because I haven't done this or that or, you know, digging up my old pictures and, you know, I'm a strong person, I'm a happy person, but to sit here and pretend like it doesn't affect me at all would just be a lie. So the thought that this entire time I've done that exact same thing to someone else and pushed that off on someone else fucks with me and I'm fucking sorry. From my perspective, knowing what it takes to transition, the tens of thousands of dollars it takes to save up for these surgeries, to take that plunge and to step into that is difficult. And to know that at the time, this is getting kind of hard to film and I'm fucking frustrated. Having gone through that myself and knowing that Riley went through that and that during the process of Riley doing that, Riley had this trans person on YouTube making videos saying some of the things that I said is really messing with me and I feel really fucking bad. You know, this whole thing has really taught me a lesson that I should really try to stick to ideas, opinions, policy, rather than like trying to get in someone's head and like make judgments about something that's so personal and so nuanced. Like, I will say in this moment, Riley, I apologize. I'm genuinely from my core sorry. Being catty and bitchy and funny is great, but sometimes things just cross a line. And on several occasions, I crossed a line. And I'm sorry. So that's about it, guys. Uh, I'm sorry for getting emotional in this video. I just felt compelled to say these things, and I hope you guys understand. I hope you guys are subscribed to me for the right reasons, not because you guys want me to do this Billy badass thing and be this constant, like, rigid character because, like, I'm a person. And <laughs> if I feel like something needs to be said, regardless of if it's my typical video or my typical behavior, I'm just going to say it. This is just me. So yeah, okay, I guess that's it. And before I go, I'll just congratulate Riley on transitioning from one gender to the only other gender because there's only two. <laughs> Had to get one jab in, okay? Just one jab. See you guys in the next video.